something to show you. I know about you. You help people. Well, I, I help people sometimes, yeah. I'll pay you, of course. I can't afford it. This is all mine. Mine and my dad's. Not in the market for a new skirt, but... You know what, sure. Tell me what you need. Okay. But this is just between you and me. Can't let dad find out. Oh, so it's his money you plan on spending. Nonsense! I'm trying to stop Dad's girlfriend from spending his money. Elena. She's got him wrapped around her finger. They've only been together a month and she's gone through his savings already. He's even mortgaged the shop. She has to be stopped, or we'll have nothing left. Take this. It's all I have. If this goes any further, she'll kill him. Wait, wait what? Kill him? Like she did several so-called boyfriends before him. All fallen dead shortly after falling for her. Do you have proof? How about four bodies? All her exes except the last one. His name is Josh. Managed to escape her clutches alive. He can tell you all about her, I bet. Find Josh. Ask him. It may be the only way to save my father from his own stupidity. Where can I find Josh? Spends a lot of time at Frank's. Half in the bag. Usually after sunset. But I bet he can prove Elena is a killer. Got the... Everything I sell comes with an ironclad guarantee. Gimme, gimme! Yep, I'll take that. Hmm, glad you offered me that. Why, I had that on my radar. It ain't no dead man's chest, but I'll take it. I ran across one of these. I'm making out like a bandit. Yes, there it is. That's exactly what you need. Thanks for that, mister. Well, swap my poop deck. Great purchase. Permission to come aboard for PK quality anytime.
Aiden. We're about to meet up in the canteen. Join us. Roger. Hey, what are you doing here? None of your business. What do you want? I'm just looking for a book, not for any trouble. You see books, we see toilet paper. Find another library. I just came from one, and I can't let you rip those books to shreds. Can't let us? <laughs> Please, get him, boys. Let's pick his corpse clean.
Word on the rooftops is Matt hired him to whack the colonel. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. Good to see you. Come on, tell me, man. She's still seeing that. Oh, yeah. Talk to me, son. so offended. I was paying your tits a compliment. How about I pay your balls a compliment with my shoe? Everything all right? There you are. You aren't gonna admit it and Dick for Brains here starts hitting on me. Sorry, my dude. I, I was just making sure your girl was safe. So where is your boyfriend? At the bar. Buying me a beer. Go ahead. Buy yourself one, too. Haven't seen you here before. Where are you from? Nowhere that matters. I'm looking for a friend. We ran across a guy named Josh. It's regular, I hear. Rings a bell. What do you want with him? Uh, just swap stories of our love lives. Could swap a few of those myself. But sure, if I see him, I'll let you know. Take care. Hey, your beer. No worries. I got it. Living the high life, aren't you? I heard you mention Josh. Try the roof, man. The way he smacks folks around, he knows he's not wanted in the bar. <laughs> Thanks. for you. Come on. The meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly. Like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow, the dog started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can reestablish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, he'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. See this building? This is an electrical substation that powers the district. If we get it running, we'll be able to power the VNC tower. Our unit is already on its way. 
Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Rogue. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass and wait on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving tosses. Shut up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander-in-chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? A lot of people say this place is dangerous. Oh, you don't say. Dangerous? What place isn't dangerous in this town? Our best people are on this mission. You'll be working with Ro. He can be a real pain in the ass, but him you can rely on. And you can always get in touch with me. The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Ro's men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. Aiden? I heard Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. Meet me outside the canteen. Oh, took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Ro Meyer? They're solid. But Jack and Juan? They're destined to stab you in the back. What's the problem? Oh, nothing. Except that's where Frank lost all the Night Runners and his leg. Jack and Juan are throwing you to the infected wolves to further their own goals. You're just a tool to them. Fucking lunatics. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen, or actually seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning, and it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden, the entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden. You there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Okay, I'll talk to Frank. Thanks, Aiden. You're doing the right thing. Ro, I'll be there as soon as I can. Something came up. Hurry, Aiden, we're all waiting for you. audio diary from people before the fall. <clears throat> Good evening, Aiden. She's still seeing that.
Frank, are you alive, man? Huh? Ravik? I told you to fucking leave me alone. Now it's me, Aiden. Who? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Tell me about the VNC Tower. We were so close back then, Aiden. So close. Despite what the others said. <laughs> I really did have a good plan. A solid plan. But it was a bloodbath, Aiden. A bloodbath. Frank, how do I get to the rooftop? We went in without a full team. <laughs> Bastards. If they'd only had faith and stuck with me. But one lost faith and let the others astray. <coughs> who was that? A Judas. That's who. If it wasn't for Rav... <sighs> Past is dead. So they say. <laughs> what matters is... <sighs> that was the end of the Night Runners. Okay, but... How can I get to the rooftop? <laughs> you can't. Nobody can. Now... Fuck you. What the hell? Come on, Frank, pull yourself together. Luan told me to ask you about the tower. Why do you want to know about that, hello? I'm gonna climb the VNC tower. What can you tell me about it? That it'll kill you, you idiot. You will die like everyone else. Like all of my friends. Don't you have things to do? First tournament in three years. They'll attract the toughest fighters in the <laughs> I ran for over an hour.
You're Josh? I want to talk to you about Elena. Elena sent you? She sucked her latest cash cow dry already? Or maybe, maybe she wants to see me? Nobody sent me. I hear you know a thing or two about Elena. Important things. Yeah, right. You want to fuck her like all the rest of us. Now get out of here before I lose my temper and rearrange your face. I'm trying to listen to my tunes. What? Flip the fuses! Now! What's that there? Thanks. And I'll talk. What secrets of Elena's are you keeping? All right. We hooked up not long after she lost her husband. Third chump in a row to kick it after being with her. You see? Spend money on her like it was going out of style. And then it was just gone. Clear in my head real quick and I realized poison. She poisoned her former lovers, and she was doing it to me. Poison? What kind? Got her own secret recipe. Apparently passed down from her old lady. Now, from what I hear, you just as easily had alcohol poisoning. You think I don't know the difference? It's booze that saved me. I'm convinced. Knocked out that damn poison and saved my fucking life. Ellen is a goddamn witch. She's got a whole stash of this shit in her apartment. Keeps it in these little orange boxes. Go check out a place on the ship. Okay, I'll take a look.
one wrong move and I skewer you like a pig. You? So you're a thief. Tell me about this. Fuck you. This is my apartment. Get out now before I call the guard. I'll go for it. Sure they'd want to know about your poison too. So, you found Josh. And he said that I tried to poison him, right? Yeah, and that you're currently conning a man so that he'll turn over his shop and money to you, right? Except you've got plenty of experience killing, right? Hey, we all got our ways to survive. If mine is to have chumps throw their money at me, and their way is to throw all their money at me, well, win-win, I say. But I've never killed anyone. No way. Why should I believe you? You took the drunk's word for it. Why not take mine? Hey, there's more than that here. Remember four dead men? All while involved with you? What makes you think I killed them, and not... Oh, I don't know, the virus, or zombies? Look, wet behind the ears, that's medicine. My mother was a medic and taught me a few things. Open up! What's going on? Hide it, quickly! It's nothing. It's just a disagreement. A loud one, I guess. What's that in your hand? Got an anonymous tip to search this apartment for poison. There's talk of a murder. If this really is poison, as suspected, this woman will hang tomorrow. You've got to help me! You hear me? Please! I'm not a murderer! Find Baba! She has a shop on St. Paul Island! She'll clear my name! She's a plague witch! Show her what you found! Dedication to this is moving. <laughs> Gulliver's Travels. Jonathan Swift was a brilliant satirist. Here he had a go at human nature and the traveler's tale subgenre. <laughs> Magnificent. I fear our world has lost the ability to appreciate the subtlety of satire. But when it can again, this book will be here, thanks to you. Our library is growing, Aiden. Not just in the number of books, but in the amount of knowledge, wisdom, history, and more. We need to keep it growing, Aiden. Uh, but first, let us find some more collections for you. Stay on the line. You're siding with the enemy, Pilgrim. Someday those chickens may just come home to roost.
got to be in delivery and it hasn't arrived yet. What's going on?
Yeah. <laughs> 